hello and welcome to this YouTube video I hope you enjoyed that BSL British Sign Language introduction I know I'm still learning but I thought I would give it a go at the beginning of this week's video okay so this is a personal video and I'm going to let you into a secret mainly because someone asked me about this while I was streaming on Twitch and I thought I had to really think about the answer and then actually share it with you all. If you are enjoying this video then please consider like, commenting and subscribing to this channel. Not only will you be supporting the channel but you will also be supporting my hate. That's what this video is all about. What is my dream? Yes, I say it often enough and it wasn't until somebody actually said to me while I was streaming live, what is my dream? dream? Well, without, without further ado, that's a strange phrase, isn't it? I wonder where that come from, further ado. Anyway, without further ado, what actually is my dream? So the first thing I'd like to say is that I know I am very lucky and very grateful. I've always been employed. I work really hard and hopefully do well in all the jobs that I actually do. However, I often do wonder what I would be doing now if I grew it grew up in the current level of technology rather than in the time that I did grow up when the most advanced computer was probably the ZX Spectrum, when the internet was not even around or only accessible via dial-up and the most advanced game you could probably play was probably Hired Guns on the Amiga. Does anybody remember Hired Guns? Now, I have to say right at the beginning that I am not afraid of hard work and I always believe that if you want to get anywhere in this world, then you have to have dedication, perseverance, commitment and pre be prepared to work extremely hard. Yoda has a very famous saying and you can probably see it up there. Um, do or do not, there is no try. And that is where my dream comes into existence. Now, I have to say at this point that I really enjoy the job that I do, but as technology has improved, I found that there's something else that I much rather do than my daily job. And this has started off as a hobby and it is almost like growing and growing to a point that I would almost wish I was doing it full time. So I've had this dream for quite a while of being a full time content creator and this would involve creating videos like this one or podcasts, blog writing from both posts to short stories, live streaming on Twitch and YouTube and anywhere else that could actually have me. My, my dream isn't an easy life and I accept that, but it might be a life which I enjoy more. Notice I said might. Um, I, yes, I know the grass always seems greener on the opposite side, etc, etc, but yes, it's still just grass. I know this, but it's a dream that I can't get out of my mind. It's constantly there and I sort of like thought about it and came up with the following reasons why I would like this dream to come true. So reason number one, I really enjoy creating content. I while away long hours writing scripts and blog posts. I like presenting on YouTube like this. It's take me hours to create this video and you're only seeing the final version of it, but there's been num numerous takes. Um, I, I try to be entertaining and watchable. And even when I'm on, um, Twitch and doing real life streams, sometimes it often just makes me smile and laugh 
just laugh for no, some unknown reason. There's also that wonderful sense of accomplishment that I work for hours on creating a video like this and then actually get to press that publish button. I enjoy the technical side of things, learning new skills to do new programs, learning about how to edit and to record and reading up about um, equipment and how to use it. And I'm developing new skills all the way from um, using technical skills like editing to productivity and even branding. I just feel very happy doing it. and wish that I could probably do it a lot more often. Okay, so reason number two. It gives me more control. Now, as you might be aware, I suffer from anxiety. If you weren't aware of this or you didn't know, then please do go and check out my anxiety and me videos. Now, the major cause of my anxiety, according to the clinical psychologist that I visited for some time, is control. The less control I have over a situation, the more anxiety I have. Waking up on, and it's not just um, control that I have to sort of like be in control of doing things, it's control of time as well. In the sense that if I wake up in the morning and I know I've got nothing planned, I don't sit around and do nothing. I plan what I would like to do or what I need to do. I don't get, I get more anxious when I have to do things. And even if I have to stream at a specific time, that can cause me anxiety. But the less control I have over a situation, the more anxiety I have. So for example, flying in an airplane, an airplane is I would, that would be an anxiety level that would be pass out unconscious. Um, situation due to the fact that I'm completely out of control and my daily job does cause me some anxiety and it could be stress or it could be anxiety but looking at a new semester's timetable makes me feel anxious. It's busy and that's not necessarily why I'm feeling anxious. It's the fact that I have no control. It's been put in for me and I'm having to follow it. I would hope that in my dream career I would have more control over things. I'm still going to be doing things. It's not a fact that I just want to sit down and watch Miss Marple or Murder She Wrote on television all the time. That's not the case but it's more that I want to stream, create, write, make videos when I want to and when I feel ready to do it. Um, so if I'm in a blogging mood being able to blog or creating uh, this video, I originally got the idea and then that was it. I just wanted to create it and being able to do that actually puts me more in control and makes me a lot calmer. Yes, I know I should be <laughs> experiencing the anxiety, the, those situations to try to come to terms with it. But at the moment, this alternative career sounds very appealing because I would have more control in that situation. Reason number three. I have a dream and I want to achieve it. Like everyone else, I probably dream about winning the lottery, but there is no amount of hard work that could actually increase my chances of winning the lottery. Yes, I could buy millions of tickets, but that's not hard work. That's just paying out a lot of cash. However, with this content creation, I feel that if I continue to work hard, maybe something might catch on, something might change. It's this sense that there's almost like this correlation between the amount of effort I put in and the possible outcomes. I have gone from hardly any viewers on my Twitch channel and single figure subscribers up to about an average of 15 views on Twitch and about 400 subs on YouTube. I, I know it's not fantastic, but it did not happen overnight. I've put in that work and 
that achieve that those numbers have come from me doing it and hopefully that's the correlation almost like the reflection of the hard work I put in and I really like that idea that the more you put into it the more possibilities you have to get something out of it okay reason number four now this is the difficult one and I just hope I don't come across as a total and utter self-centered idiot it's strange and please 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 don't think that I'm not grateful at any time through this reason I, I find this very hard to acknowledge and no matter what people say to me I, I will always find it um, hard to acknowledge and I think uh, I, I'm very much a case of if somebody gives me a compliment then I'm very much a case uh, I find it hard to accept that compliment and I'm not too sure whether or not it's a British thing or just me if somebody said that was really good video I sort of like say thank you very much but I, I know I need to do this this and the other now right from going through school and being unpopular in school and not fitting in and even through life I always feel different I always feel almost like out of out on a limb as if I'm a, a square peg trying to fit in a circle hole of society that was poetic wasn't it I am weird I know that I am different and maybe you will say at this point yes we all are different but I know I don't conform to normal sort of like expectations I don't fit into society very well or any groups of people this has often been pointed out to me on twitch people say you're too old to stream but then at work people say why are you streaming what's all this twitch thing and I, I don't seem to fit into either of those sort of like camps or society and part of my dream is to be popular well maybe not popular maybe being accepted and I find this very hard and I did I did think about putting this reason in but I always try to be honest with you people and otherwise there's no point on making these videos and so eventually I, I wrote it to put it in because I do script these and I, I know I have people who respect me who enjoy my videos my live streams and I seriously I really do appreciate that and I know that I, I am extremely grateful for everything that people do and seriously I would never want to lose it at all but my brain constantly tells me to try and to become more accepted and know more people you know I, I look at some people's streams or YouTube channels when thousands of people are watching them and they're held out in huge um, esteem in front of them and I just I just well you know it's something that I think we all would like and it's not fame it's not fortune it's maybe it's not even popularity maybe it's more just being accepted and the more people that accept you the more the happier you become I always remember the songs and uh, the lyrics of a song in Wicked um, that focuses on uh, just being popular and yeah I, I think I've exhausted that topic Let, let's let's move on so if you have enjoyed this video then please consider liking commenting and subscribing doing so not only supports this channel but also my dream and now you know what that dream is all about thanks for watching see ya